hi how are you doing habibi here in this video i'm going to make a tutorial about how to create a virtual tour using this 360 web tour maker and 3d studio max let's get started by creating a new 3d max object here is my 3d max and here is my 360 software let's start the 3d max up here is my 3d max and let me create new new some objects let me create some objects here first will be a plane as a ground and i set the position at the center of the world and i will add some objects is showing you an example so you can make your own creation later and then I create a camera let me press F to to view the front uh, to use the front view and add a camera here free place it here and again set the camera at the center of the screen go back to uh, perspective view and here let me adjust the position of my camera I will start uh, the first the first view should be using this camera and then I will make two scenes I will make two panoramas for this example project this is our first uh, scene I, actually it is using the same scene here but I'm going to use two camera position let me just do what I'm going to do I'm not good explainer I'm sorry so let me just render the things here I'm not going to render what I have here using this render uh, using this render button so I'm not going to render it this way because I'm going to render it in 360 format so I can use it on my 360 software to render the scene in 360 mode we are going to use this rendering tab here and find this panorama exporter click this one and here you can click render I will choose the highest resolution or you can adjust your own resolution here and then I click render this is our first 360 panorama I'm going to save this image we need to to specify the file output here let me click it and then on desktop I'm going to create a folder 360 render I will name it one dot jpg okay let me render it once again this is our first 360 rendering it is here you can see the 360 image like this and then we are going to make the second one for the second one I'm, I will just need to reposition the camera 
for example to the center of the seam and then click render again here I need to name it to dot jpg jpg save and click render here is our second our second panorama we are done with 3d max then let's start using uh, the 360 software that i've made to start it make sure you are running it using this uh, run as administrator okay it needs to generate files on your computer the virtual tour files you need you need to run it as administrator so to avoid problem while while creating files in your computer then allow it to run and here is my 360 software we are going to create new software I'm sorry we are going to create new project by giving a name first max tour just the name and specify the location I will place it on my desktop and 360 render here I make new folder tour I will name it tour select the folder then create hit the create button here is my first project here in this tutorial first max store I can browse the folder by clicking this address here is the tour files the index.html files the panoramas files here and let's get started by adding panorama images by clicking this plus button locate the panoramas that we have created from 3d max i click the first one then add the second one i make this first one as the first panorama the default panorama by clicking this the panorama file name to make it green like this and i don't need this one i delete it yes and let me just test it by clicking this green button please wait and in th I think I have problem with name the file name here let me just go to the 360 render that I had rename it with some text for example 1 and 2 the software is still is still buggy sometimes maybe it cannot accept number as file name so I will rename it to this 1 and 2 dot jpg and I need to delete these two panoramas but I need to add the new files with these new names first open and this one make this as new as the default panorama delete this first uh, two panoramas and try it again here it is you cannot you can see the panorama here and 
let's link this panorama to the second panorama by adding a hotspot click the hotspots tab add new hotspot here I will press ctrl and click here to add the hotspot you can name it anything add and I change the icon to this one and add action open panorama choose the second panorama let's try it click this green button here we are and click the hotspot and we are in this we are at the center of the scene now and let's add another hotspot at the second panorama to go back to the first panorama click this one and I don't know where was I maybe here I click here press ctrl and click to add a hotspot I name it back click add change the icon and choose an action open panorama select the first one and run it again here we are click the hotspot we are on the second panorama and click this one to go back Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you like it and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.